Praise be to God. It's good to be with you here this morning again. And I thank the Lord because His mercies, they are mighty and powerful. I've been teaching about Elijah's sacrifice. And I want us to understand the depth of the sacrifice. Therefore, I will be reading from the book of uh, Luke chapter 13, from verses 6 onwards. And basically what verse 6 onwards says is that a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came looking for fruit from that vineyard. But what happened was that particular tree that he was taking fruit from did not have fruits. So then he's asking the watchman or the keeper of the, uh, of the vineyard, why cumbereth it the ground? And the keeper of the ground says, and he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also till I shall dig about it and fertilize it. And this is what I want us to note today because the keeper of the ground is saying, Lord, leave it alone till I dig the ground around it. Now let's come to the sacrifice which Elijah does. So I'm reading from the book of 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 32 onwards. Verse 32 says, And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. Please note that the altar was built on Mother Earth, on the dirt. And then he says, the Bible says, he made a trench about the altar. In other words, Elijah dug around the altar. Now, this is very interesting because it is when you dig the earth and the, and, and the earth is all made of mud and it signifies us, you and I. And what, is, what the Bible is saying here is that we need to dig into our lives, into the depth of our hearts to see what is good and what is not good. And we need to begin to cleanse our ground. So Elijah says here, the Bible says that Elijah made a trench about the altar. And now watch this, as great as would contain two measures of seed. So he dug a trench around the altar and it could hold two large bags of seed. It does not say that the seed was put into the ground. It just says it had the ability to hold two measures of seed. What is the two measures of seed? It is the word of God. It is the Old Testament. It is the New Testament. What Elijah is showing the people is that we need on the altar that has been prepared in our lives, we need to dig around into our lives, into the depth of our heart, and we need to prepare our hearts with the word of God. God has given us enough and more time to seek the Lord, to seek his word, and I would encourage each and every one of you, if your family is outside, get uh, uh, use technology and get into your family, uh, get with your family and get into the word, get into some prayer. If your family is here, uh, uh, you know, have your coffee tables, uh, have your coffee in the morning with uh, your family, get into the word because you see, we need to dig around our altars and we need to have the word of God in place. I want to wish you a great uh, a week ahead, a great day ahead. I want to thank you and we're going to just begin to get into prayer because we do not know what's going to come ahead of us. So bow your hearts with me and let us pray. And Father, we come to your throne of grace and we thank you for this time you've given us. Help us to understand the the sacrifice and the way the sacrifice sacrifice was made by Elijah and help each and every one of us to get into the scripture to get into the word to understand the word and to write it upon the table of our heart so it will bring about change and we just thank you for all the people right now Lord we thank you for this whole world oh Lord and we just pray right now and we release warning angels to go forth and break down strongholds everything which is afflicting the people the people who are in ICU the doctors the nurses the people who are sick with this virus we just begin to speak a healing over our land. Let every person on planet earth begin to seek you, Lord, and let them bow down their knees to you. And we, Father, we, we as the church, we release warning angels to break down this virus infection. And we just thank you because your grace and your mercy is sufficient. Let your name be glorified, we pray in Jesus' mighty and matchless name. Amen and amen and amen.